Hello LEGO fans, Adult Fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to my review of set 10216. This is the Winter Village Bakery. So this is carrying on with the Winter Village theme. Um, I've already done an unboxing um, with regards to this set and I'll put a link down to that video down in the description. Also down in the description will be links to the other Winter Village themed or Winter themed sets um, that I've already unboxed um, and reviewed. So let's get into the review. Okay guys, where well, we can see the set all built and complete in front of us. And again, I think this is another fantastic looking set. I think all these sets from the Winter, Winter Village theme are all really cool sets. I think they look fantastic. Um, and as you get more and more of these sets, um, like I have or stroke am doing, once you put them all together on a display, I think they look pretty spectacular actually. So I'm really, really, really pleased with um, this theme and this set has not let me down at all. So this set was 2010 this was released in. Um, this actually has seven and a half minifigures, which is uh, obviously a little bit unusual, but when I get round and actually show you a close up, you'll see where the half element um, of the minifigures are. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the minifigures. First up, this is our assuming owner of our tree sellers stand. This light on. There we go. Okay, so black legs. You can see the light blue torso there with the orange dungarees on. On the front torso printing, no rear torso printing. He's got a single-sided face, which you can see there. He's wearing this grey beanie hat. So that is our first minifigure. Okay, next up we have, this is again from the tree seller stand, but this is the me minifigure that is riding the horse drawn cart, which is obviously delivering the Christmas trees. Again, we can see there the front torso printing. Nothing on the rear, so there's no rear printing at all. You can see his face there with his beard and he's got some glasses on some spectacles and he wears this little black cap almost like a chauffeur's cap so that's our second minifigure okay next up we have this young child a young boy Let's see there I get that in you see there is some front torso printing nothing on the rear he's wearing uh, sorry holding an apple which we can see there that's because in this scene he's actually um, feeding that apple to the horse um, which is obviously going around delivering the um, Christmas trees so he has this accessory here which represents kind of the hood to the jacket that he's wearing but this does come off so we just slip this off like so and we can see his face underneath and get a better look of that torso print in there as well and again single sided face and that just simply slots back on like so and obviously the shorter legs um, to represent the child. Okay next up we have our baker. See there he's holding this tray of freshly cooked cakes, the little cupcakes. You can see there. So I'm just going to remove that from his hand. So first off, you can see his chef's gown or apron. The front torso print in there. Nothing on the rear, so no rear printing at all. You can see his face printing. Again, there's his grey beard. His chef's hat here. Let's take that off. We can see again. There's no rear face printing um, on our chef at all and he has these grey legs so that's our um, our baker okay next up we have the baker's wife um, she's holding this box here 
and this box is obviously from the baker so that's going to be full of lovely cakes see there just remove that so the piece sorry that is a sticker um, on there so this is just a 2x2 two two tile on top of a 2x2 uh, two two, um, brick okay so the actual lady herself first off she has a skirt on you can see there okay a front torso printing and a bit of rear torso printing as well you can see her face obviously wearing the red lipstick she has this brown hair piece we just remove that Okay, so there we can just see there's only the rear torso printing down at the bottom and a single sided um, face. So that is the baker's wife. Okay, next up we have this female, and this is actually one of the skaters who's on the ice skating rink. So we start with the bottom there, you can see she's actually wearing some ice skates. See her front torso printing with a pink scarf no rear torso printing her face again wearing some lipstick she has this blonde hair piece and it is a single sided face so that is our first skater okay next up we have our second skater we see this is a young person I assume it's a little boy with his shorter legs and again you can see there He's wearing the skates, so this one has black eye skates on. Um, he has a black torso with no printing. Um, you can see there, just made that out. He's wearing, holding this pretty cool looking camera. There you go, quite a good shot of that there. Just move that arm down. Let's move that camera out of the way. Let's see his face printing. He's got this black hair piece on. And this one, I believe, does have a second face. So obviously, the sad face and the happy face. But we want him to be happy. It's a winter scene. He's ice skating. So obviously, he's taking a photo there on the ice skating ring. rink. Okay, so that is our ice skating boy. Hey guys, so the final minifigure is the half minifigure I refer to, so I'm just going to show you that. It's actually in the ice skating rink. I'm just going to bring this forward so we can see. Hopefully, if this will focus, you can see these legs here. That's obviously our half person. You see, he's got his ice skates on. What this represents is he's gone skating along the rink, like this lady is here, and then gone head over heels into a big pile of snow, um, which is there, so where there's obviously some snow that's drifted at the end of the ice skating ring, and he's gone head first and buried himself in it. So that is our half minifigure. Okay, so on to the actual set itself. First thing I'm going to show you is the Tree Sallows Stand. Let's bring this into shot. There we go. So there's the front of the stand. Up here is that's a sticker on a plate. But you can obviously see there you can buy small trees and larger trees. So small tree is 100 and a large tree is 200. It's the expensive trees, so they better be good. You see the roof there and the different colours. Um, on the counter here, he's obviously got his mug of, um, I'm assuming, a warm drink to keep him warm in the winter weather. Uh, if we look on that side there, there is a broom brush. And then on this side is a shovel or spade. We all look around to the rear. Um, obviously, very basic. Obviously, we can 
stand one of the minifigures in there if we want to, or behind there I should say. Um, then he could obviously be working actually behind the tree seller's stand. Okay, next up is the horse and cart. Okay, this is pretty little cool part of this set. I'm just going to bring in first of all, there we go, you see the horse. The horse does have this printing on its face and its snout on obviously both sides. The head of the horse can adjust um, up and down. It's stiff, but it will move up and down. There we go. Feet are fixed, so all the legs are fixed in place. Um, I was a bit surprised that they put in, you have this black brick over its body. I would have thought that they could have come up with something better than that, maybe some sort of saddle piece or at least the same colour. Um, yeah, it just doesn't quite match. Um, but anyway, that's obviously a matter of opinion. So, working back to the actual um, carriage itself, you see here, it does swivel, so it's obviously on some sort of um, hinging mechanism. Um, I think the wheels do look good on this. There you go, have a shot of that one. So, obviously, all the wheels do spin independently. Um, while we're on that side, we can see there clipped onto the side is an axe. Okay, if we work our way round, again, wheels onto the back. Um, there is some sort of decoration on there for obviously the winter Christmas thing. And again, round that side. Um, up here on this side clipped on is a whip. Obviously, if we need to get the horse moving along. Um, in the back, we obviously have a Christmas tree, which is obviously just um, sold and on his way to deliver. I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute just to show you that these do all come down as well. So you have this um, rear door here which comes all the way down so you can obviously put your tree in but not only does that one come down you can also put all the sides down as well. So you can have a completely open and flat bed to the truck like so. Okay, well that's down. You can see our minifigures obviously now sat back in, but this is a seat. It's an actual seat piece. If I just take that out, you can see there. You can see the seat. And I will just put him back in. Put the sides back up. And the back goes up simply like that. So that is our little horse-drawn cart with the horse. Okay, next up the ice skating ring. You had a brief look at this when I showed you the half minifigure. Um, I'll give you a bit of a better look now. Quite a cool little element to this set. Um, so you've seen the minifigures already, but you can see them in place um, actually on that set there. And you've got these little translucent blue plates. I think these are 8x8 plates. They are pretty cool. I've never seen these before personally. Um, at the rear here, we have obviously two trees, one large and one small. I'll just show you a 360 of it. There we go, just spin back there we have here. This is a bench, which we can see which the little boy there is standing in front of. You can see that bench there and how that's made. Okay, then we have these posts, one here with a red flag on it and one here again with a red flag on there and then going obviously from that post right over to the other post is this line of lights which we can see um, there let's get those in there you go red green red green and on top of that that pole there is an owl so there's an owl perched himself up there, obviously having a bit of a look around. Um, over here, we have these two pieces here, which are going to represent some plants. Okay, so finally we have the actual bakery shop itself. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think this does look really cool. Um, I think these sets are great. I really, really do like them. Um, so 
just while it's sat there and uh, we can see at the top here there are a couple of lights above each of the upstairs windows um, down here um, I will take a off the tripod in a minute and give you a bit of a close look but anyway there's some decoration up here some garland type um, decorations we have this lamp on the side here which is like a, a torch lamp obviously the front door um, which does open so obviously the door to get into the bakery which we can see there okay so you can see the actual shop window here and the great function on this it has a light brick in it so if I press the light brick you should just about be able to see there the actual shop display lighting up so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more okay switch my light off like so and then if I press that light brick now obviously you can see there lighting up a bit better and obviously in here there is a counter with lots of uh, cakes on display in there looking delicious okay so over to the side here we have a lamppost with a light on top of it and here is obviously the sign for the bakers to represent it's the bakers this is again is a sticker on a 2x2 two two, um, plate I'm just going to spin around now to the sides so I go around to this side here uh, again we have some winter stroke Christmas decorations nice big window there where we can see inside the bakers again I'm going to spin around to the other side on this side we have a Christmas tree I'll just move that um, again same as the other side Christmas decoration and a nice big um, window there where we can actually see inside to the shop again and you can see the counter area um, from that particular window okay just spin around to the rear now there we can see the rear or inside the actual shop itself now so here is a huge chimney stack and down here is the oven area obviously where he's doing his um, baking we have this paddle here attached to the side which is where he's going to put obviously his bread and dough inside the oven um, to bake his bread and cakes um, we can just see in there that's the rear of that counter which you could see um, plenty room in here to put a minifigure um, here on this side is the counter area um, so this is the rear of the counter so we have the cash till over in the corner there and there is a hundred dollars um, sat on the counter there um, these pieces do actually come out so again these are going to be some cakes um, which are on display so I'll just show you that and it's going to be some cakes and there are some little clear um, window pieces down the bottom there so when you're in the front of the shop you can obviously see these cakes on display um, upstairs and um, we have obviously a room here um, there's this little crate here there's actually there's nothing in it I mean it's just for display purposes but there is a little um, crate or trunk up there over here is where the light brick is situated situated so as you can see press the light brick there and you can see that lighting up which obviously lights up the inside of that shop right so I'm just going to take this camera off the tripod to give you a bit of a closer look okay so let's take a closer look inside so over here is the counter area I mentioned just a second ago and you can see there there's that cash register and the hundred dollar bill there are those cakes on display you can see there the oven area you can see those there's some um, little translucent orange studs in there obviously to represent the um, fire or the hot part of the oven again there's that paddle a better look at the oven you can see in there the cakes and there's a croissant there on display spin this round again you can see inside that's that window at the side and get a good look there. Continue spinning round. It's a better look there of what that display looks like through the window. Again, just put the light brick on. There you go, you can see that light up quite well there now. There's that torch or light. Okay, over to the shop entrance, the door. 
and that opens up like so. So there we can now see the other side of that counter um, and you can see those cakes um, through the glass cabinets um, which are obviously down below. Ah, there's something else I missed. So over in there, which you can just about see here, there is a little crate and inside that crate there are two loaves sort of French stick loaves, I'll see if I can get a better shot of those and if we can see them through there not particularly well, I can just about see them at the rear it'll be a bit fiddly to get to um, ok, you can see a shot of them there again if I come around to this window, I'm just going to move this tree if we look through there, there we can see them there now get that into focus right, hopefully you can make that out with um, there are some lows in there but they are a little bit awkward to get to okay there's that crate upstairs that I refer to again there's actually nothing inside that and there is the light brick just spin round just want to show you the light that's here, the lamp and the um, sign for the baker's shop there with obviously that's going to be the motif for the bakery shop ok guys so there we go ok quick look at the spare pieces that came with this set which you can see there in front of you, so quite a few of the little um, studs in obviously a number of colours there couple of uh, little one by one plates, brown cheese slope um, and this piece here which is normal, I think these are used for petals for plants but this represents I think like the cupcake so that's your spare pieces okay there we go that's my review of this set complete um, Winter Village Bakery set 10216 like I said this was released in 2010 um, here I am now reviewing this in December 2013 um, I think I have two more of these winter themed sets um, to get unboxed and reviewed for you which I want to try and get done before Christmas Day in 2013. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this review as always. If you've liked this video please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up, really does encourage me. Please feel free to leave me any feedback or comments down in the comments section and if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!